Action from the tournament. It is going to be Gravity Academy, which is making up of Lingo, Sky Dragon, Instant Noodle, Insert, Godlift, and Chow Rice, making up Team 1 versus Team Solo AJ. That's TBO Isaac, Alara Shade, S7. The third 40RR, 4RR is the actual. Uh, Arrow Dried T and Merlin -E X. Some yeah, odd what? names. Um, S73ND 4RR. What? Um, 73 and 44R, 4R, 4R, Ferrari, maybe? I, I, Ferrari, uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Ferrari. Makes it easy. Um, if you can ask someone to leave. I can, like, go into the game hmm. and uh, spectate. Well, well, we'll see. We'll get you in here, Gleos. Don't worry. You just I'm, okay. Take a little bit of time. Okay, <laughs> fine. <sighs> <laughs> it's Stender is the guy's name. Okay. Is so that seventy third third and uh, forty four R R is Stender. You should be able to join now, though, Cleos. You should be able to. Hopefully, that's the. You should be able. There we yes. go. Yes. Nice. Now we're good. No, say Slender. He loves it. All right. So Slender, part of Jax's army, is everyone's part of Jax's army. And uh, are you all set? Are you set? Okay, don't talk. That's cool. That's fine, because I'm, I'm, I'm all set. <laughs> I'm set. Don't worry. I'm set. I thought you were talking to someone else. <laughs> no, I was... There's obviously more more people in here. You know. Now, Oreo did put up the straw poll of saying who will win. Last time, you guys voted that Gravity Academy was going to be able to take the victory here. Ten votes to eight votes. Now... What are your thoughts after watching the Pentakill come out of Team East Coast onto the team last time here? That is a, uh, it's going to be the deciding factor. Will you guys be right in your guesses? Will you be wrong? Who knows? Because I sure as heck don't. <laughs> oh, uh, but the game. Uh, Yasuo Wukong Vi Thresh Lissandra Lee Sin. Lissandra, I think that's interesting. I think this is very interesting. I haven't actually seen a Lissandra ban or a Lissandra being picked at all, really. It's, it's got to be one of those things where it's a target ban. Yeah, it must be. One of these players. One. One of these players. Obviously have something to do with Lissandra, because that's a very odd ban, to be honest. Whoa. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> definitely some uh, interesting... Picks there coming from the purple team LeBlanc and Zillion, of course, not locked in, so I shall not speak. Uh, you know what, Alara <laughs> Shade, I, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna ignore you from now on. <sighs> um, but yeah, we got the Renekton. Um, not really a surprise at this point. Is he gonna dominate lane? Most likely. I don't know. Um, he did before. Yeah, he's done every single game before. Uh, I mean, Renekton is picked, yeah. and he wins. Yeah, that's so. how it works. <laughs> so we got the first break, uh, LeBlanc. LeBlanc getting into games consistently, and she's just doing very well all the time. Gragas, very good pick against LeBlanc. Very good pick. Now, uh, that's good, How? but he can't get outplayed. He's got to be careful. No, but, like, you don't need to kill LeBlanc. Come on. Only thing you need to do is farm. And you outskill her. And you have more than enough sustain. You have an escape. You have better clear. I think it's just a very safe pick towards LeBlanc in general. Well, let's take a look here. We are seeing all these champions, by the way. Um... They have to be their best. They have to literally be picking the champions that they are the absolute top notch with because yeah. both these teams are fighting to stay in this tournament. This is the loser's bracket. We've seen Gravity Academy play, but Team Solo AJ, brand new team. Never cast before. So I don't know what to expect. Yeah, we don't for know anything about these guys. We haven't seen any games uh, pre-tournament. We haven't seen any, any games of them in this tournament. It's completely new. And, uh, like, one thing we do know, we've seen a lot of gravity. 
Mm. But so, so like, I'm I'm obviously uh, my brain tells me to to uh, vote for gravity, but like, literally no one here has any idea on how uh, solar AG actually works. Yeah. And it neither does gravity. So this, this might might be pretty scary for uh, gravity here. They have to be careful. They don't know how they play. So we'll see how it works. Now, looking at Team Solo AJ, look look at that double assassin again. They're running out with the Kha'Zix and LeBlanc. Then they have Ouch. the teleport from Olaf. All of a sudden, five members of Team Solo AJ in Gravity Academy's bot lane. They take the kills, they get the tower, they get dragons. They have the power to do that. Yeah, very scary. Very, very scary. Are we going to see the Cassidan? Cassidan was not <laughs> banned out, but his rework makes him very, very different to play. Very different. People say useless, I say different. He uh, he may feel useless because the amount of power he had before was a bit ridiculous. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, my bad. Uh, Melon actually pointed out that the... the uh, they have actually been played against, so there might actually be some intel going in towards the team here. They're not completely unknown, which, uh, yeah, defeats my point completely. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is a good point. I forgot that we took two groups. We took Mordekaiser's Renegades versus Caitlyn Convicts, and these teams have been duking it out for the last five weeks against each other. So thank you very much, Malin, for the information. Sorry for the uh, misstatement as Lucian going to be picked up as that last champion for Team Solo AJ. But Lucian with Vayne and, and Lulu. Vayne Lulu is a very classic, classic combo. When Lulu first came out, everyone loved playing Vayne with it because Vayne would tumble in, pop everyone up, then kite away. And using the constant slow from Lulu, as well as the Glitter Lance, the Polymorph, and the speed up if needed, like, <laughs> Vayne... Lulu, yeah, Lulu's great. Does so Hello. well with Lulu. But Lucian's yeah. gonna be able to poke her, out of, poke her out of the lane. Now, the thing is, Vayne, she's, she's really gotta watch out here. Because, uh, with a, a LeBlanc and a Kha'Zix actively trying to hunt you down, it's gonna be pretty hard to survive those late game stages if we get that far that is very true now if it does get into the later game you have Olaf who's a late game monster but yeah. you're going up against Vayne who is the true damage king so very true. I don't know Olaf's gonna have a bit of a pickle on his hands if he's gonna try to run to that back line where Vayne is and he can still get polymorphed even through Ragnarok so, uh, oh, is that so? Know. That is absolutely so. Ah, interesting. Mm -hmm. I guess it's not a CC then. So he can jump right onto Vayne, and then all of a sudden he's a pretty little cupcake. What are you gonna do, cupcake man? Yeah, <laughs> not gonna kill my ADC. Or, or, or one of those white puffy things. Was what are those things called again? A kitten. Uh, what? Uh, white puffy things, a cupcake, a uh, dragon, a snowball. No, the, the, no, the little, the little, the little guys in Howling Abyss. The Poro. Poro, there we there. go. I was like, what are you talking about, white fluffy little? Thing? I, don't know. <laughs> I have no or, idea. Um, uh, yeah, it can be turned into a variety of things. To be honest, it's uh, very interesting. It's definitely going to be one of the most interesting things about this game. What will Olaf turn into? Let's make a straw poll about that. <laughs> no, will it be a cupcake, a poro, a kitten, or <laughs> nothing at all because he's going to rape everybody? Uh, yeah, one of those. <laughs> now, blue team has a very nice team overall. They have a lot of CC. They have a tanky front line. They have a nasty, nasty back line. That's a very solid composition. I mean, Renekton can dive into Lulu overgrowth, pop everybody up. They could have Pantheon dive into the back line, where Godlift and Chow Rice easily sit very comfortably in the back and are never touched. Where then Purple Team has the Assassin LeBlanc, the Assassin Kha'Zix, and Leona Olaf front line with Lucian sitting in the back has to protect himself. 
I'm interested to see if it comes to an all-out brawl. Who's going to take the victory out? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's uh, like eh, definitely we see a lot of very, very like powerful champions here on both sides. Like we have the feared LeBlanc, feared Gragas, Vayne, which is a huge late game threat, Pantheon. Now I cannot stress how good Pantheon is right now. We've seen him. Yeah, we're, we've seen it several times, and the amount of pressure his ultimate can give is uh, is beyond belief. And uh, he is actually, uh, due to a nerf uh, coming up in the next patch, I believe. That is severely, correct. Severely, like I'm not even joking. Severely reducing his alt range uh, it's to needed. the point where. It's needed. I think it was a bit ridiculous. I mean, the range, I don't know. doesn't even feel like it's worth it to all to that point, you know? Well, it's like, I, it's, I think it's the same exact range as Nocturne. And no, later it's, on. it's shorter. Is it? I thought it was the same exact range. Maybe. And then know. late game, well, it, it still gets just as far out there. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. But it's uh, it's definitely like late game isn't all that big of a deal whenever he shows up. But it's that early and mid game in those lanes where it's basically unstoppable unless you can pull off a very nice flash. It, yeah, it's it's really hard to uh, do anything about it, and uh, Pantheon can do that every two minutes or so. And that's just where Pantheon has shown so much favor in solo queue, in ranked, just everywhere, professional play, because of the ability, hey, I'm in front of you, let's fight. Oh, yeah. I lied, because I'm behind you, and your carry's dead. Let's keep fighting, though. Yeah. In a blink of an eye. <laughs> yeah. So, we see the game starting up here. No pauses yet, that's a good start. That is a great start, that is what I like to see. I like seeing the little items just like bounce around as people buy them. <laughs> <laughs> it's the simple pleasures, my friend. Absolutely. And look at how fast Team Solo AJ has purchased their items and is now moving out to start and defend or a possible invade. Yeah, they were a lot quicker than uh, Gravity, that's for sure. And uh, we're like... They seem to take a pretty aggressive route here. Are we no? Maybe they're maybe they're just covering the entrance. Just gonna spread or, out, get the D. I mean, they don't have really an invade team. Neither team really does. Let's be honest. They're very passive, very just protect their buffs, make sure that no one gets hurt. They don't want to lose the game early. They they just want to go into the lane. They want to do what they are, have been doing: farm it out, get fed, bring it in the late game. One big team fight. Call it a day. So yeah, it seems like uh, we're just gonna see uh, we're just gonna see some standard starts here. Um, that Olaf skin always confuse me. Those are hammers, right? Um, I think they're supposed to be drumsticks, but actually they're faces with spikes through them. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I never I never understood that skin. <laughs> For some reason, I could just not comprehend what it was supposed to be. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It, it looks cool, yeah. Oh look, they're they're having a little uh, little dance there. Well, you know what they say: do a little dance, make a little love, get a victory tonight, <laughs> baby. Get a victory tonight. Don't make love, <laughs> please. Well, don't make hate. Make love. You know, that's that's at least what the old motto was. Oh, okay, gotcha. Now we're gonna see. So we're seeing. Uh, we're the seeing. Uh, ba he started blue. Interesting. Cause it's not he doesn't really need blue, does he? He can start red with uh, basically no problem whatsoever. Oh Look at the going in onto on the bottom Lucian already has to use flash and barrier. Um Ooh. now bull summoners are down as now we see Lulu going in for the kill. Is it gonna work? No! It is gonna be enough last tick. Lulu picking up the kill as Allura Shade now trying to put the damage on the lingo as Vayne going on in and what a great play. Early aggression. Knowing their champions inside and out, and Lulu starting with the spell thief blade, extra ten damage per spell or auto attack, and it, that just won in the lane. 
I might be wrong, but does Pixie like proc that spelty blade individually? Yes, it does. Oh. So you can shoot shit. and it procs it. You can auto attack and it procs it. You can shield them, auto attack a minion, and it'll proc it. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that's very scary. Well, that honestly uh, just proves how they completely won on that engage there. Look at Renekton! Oh, we see Renekton in top Ooh. with the slice and dice, putting himself into position. Sky Dragon picking up the kill. That was a great job. He utilized his champion so well. Sliced, auto attack, diced, auto attack. Had the ignite, picked up the kill. Walked out like an alligator should. And the alligator could. Now, oh. what's funny to see here, this is Pantheon going in onto Isaac, does not have the blink, waiting for the cooldown. There's the teleport coming Tele in from Olaf. Is it gonna be enough? There it is, he's trying. Used to slow as Chow Rice easily sidesteps it. Takes a little true damage, no big deal. And Isaac playing LeBlanc after Chow Rice for the last two games has played LeBlanc. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's definitely a role to fulfill here. Chow has done an amazing LeBlanc, even though it didn't really work out last game. Um, it was still great. It's still, yeah, it's still great. He he did what he was supposed to do. I didn't even. What happened mid just now? <laughs> um, Kazix tried to show up and and uh, he just kind of jumped. Greg is a little scared, pooped his pants a little, and uh, popped a flash. Cool. Well, that's no flash on Gragas then. And uh, that Gragas is most likely going to be very oh, scary. Oh, going in on the Godlet down here, but Allura Shea taking so low, about a quarter HP. As there we see Slender coming up, sniping the kill onto Lingo. Resolution continuing the assault here onto Vayne. Vayne trying to cut along, there's the flash, counter flash. Now, does he want to go for the dive? It's not a great idea, as Pantheon's showing on up. No big deal. Just losing one there, it's okay, could have lost more. So it was a good job at least for Vayne to run out of there. Oh, look at poor Olaf. Whoa. Well, I guess this is just the same, like he's just repeating the same thing. Renekton wins lane. Unless it's some weird lane where, oh! Oh, and there we oh. see Isaac stepping up, switching places. There get we go. is going in with the body slam. Does not combo with the barrel as Isaac just, uh, Getting out of there, does have to burn Flash for it, but saves his life, so it's worth. Now Flash is gone for both parts there, and uh, it's basically just going to be level 6, it's going to be deathmatch. Whoever gets the combo off first, uh, wins. wins, basically. Oh yeah. That's how scary this lane is right now. And I think LeBlanc has the upper hand for now, but once Gragas gets a bit tanky, he gets ridiculously hard to kill, while LeBlanc sort of just relies on her mobility not to die. We'll see how it goes. And we see Olaf in top, just he's reduced down to farming with his, his throwing axe. He has to use Undertow to get last hits. And at that point, he is begging for assistance in top, as he may as Poor may very well get dope here. There's Sky Dragon him. once again going into the top and killing him just as he did the first time we saw tonight. Knows that champion so well, picked up the kill. And there's Lulu getting engaged on, taking to a quarter HP as Vayne now trying to put some trade onto. There's the barrier coming out the exhaust as well. And there's going to be a back off from Gravity Academy. No big deal, no big deal. Yeah, definitely some aggression on both parts on the bot lane. And <laughs> Renekton already half done with that top turret. Wow. Uh, this is definitely the Renekton that has been crushing the most. Tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, it's not going to stop, really, uh, at all. He's, pr as you can see, he's just buying straight AD right now. He's not even scared. And if Kha'Zix decides to. Uh, Take a visit. I'm pretty sure Kazix will die too. <laughs> he may be able to pick up a double, but there we are. Some six cents coming out saying, "Hey, there's a Kazix here. Let's uh, let's back up. Let's not push up any farther." As we can see, six on both mid laners. Let's uh, let's stand off. Gotta against. check out for the end. The Kazix coming in there. 
Oh, there we see Kha'Zix coming all the way from behind as Allure Shade goes in, does stand, or should stun onto Godlift, but he's gonna tumble out in a great slow. Nice. Coming from Lulu, just disengages that whole fight in bottom, and even though they had great positioning, Kha'Zix was behind, could have used the slow, and they still, bot lane, not freaking out, Gravity Academy playing very calmly. Just walk out of the situation. As Gragas with the explosive oh. mess, dust kick into the tower, not gonna be enough, is gonna pop the passive from LeBlanc, and the actual one does get ignited. As Arrow trying to run away, the flash stun from Pantheon, hard to strike, is gonna be able to pick up the kill. As we see Leona accidentally sniping the kill onto Pantheon, but this is gonna be a dragon for them. The smite is down, not even existent for Gravity Academy. This team solo AJ should be able to pick this up, no problem. Much needed dragon of that as we see the like as we see gravity right now just asserting their dominance and they're saying we may have lost the game before this but they still got it like they they're not a bad team by any stretch of the imagination and uh, as you can see the Renekton doing very well their bot lane doing very well great at disengage from the lost gank as well and uh yeah, like, they're just showing how, how steady of a team they are, and they're not going down without a fight. Definitely not, because again, no one wants to lose. This is it. If they lose, they're out, period. They want to win. Yep. Of now. course they want to win. Oh, this is a level 6 gank from Pantheon that everyone loves so Let's dearly. Red buff. He could go on in there. They are pushed kind of forward, and the best part about Vayne is, hey, push to my tower. Guess what? Final hour, I chase you down. I get bonus movement speed. I can get damage into the wall. I have so much damage. As look at this Renekton running up <laughs> all over Olaf's face saying, hey, buddy, this is my lane. You need to leave. And that's exactly what Olaf's doing. Poor Olaf. I feel bad. Sorry for him. I agree, man. He's just 0-3, nothing but a vamp scepter and a shield on his arm and some, some boots on his feet. Oh, but oh, there's Pantheon what? going in. Can he land it? The explosive cast trying to come back. Does oh. kick it. There's a Pantheon. Needs to get the stun off. Can he do it? There it is. There's the Heart Seeker. Damage coming out, but LeBlanc is just going to use her uh, little dashy skill. That little W of hers and say, oh, bye bye The dashy skill. Great. Oh, Renekton might actually be in some trouble, though. Am I right? Will he be able to 2v1? We will now find out. He still has the ultimate. He doesn't have Ignite or Flash, but Kha'Zix is very low. There we see the ultimate coming up from Kha'Zix. That damage coming out. Renekton picking up one, going for two. Side Dragon. Oh, but Aeroduct is going to get out of dodge with the Ghost. Wants to get some last hits. As Chow Rice just says, hey, LeBlanc, I don't care. I'm not silenced. Where are you? But there's the double chain CC for ages as the barrel roll is going to pop LeBlanc's mimic, or the, the passive. And uh, she's going to go on home. Renekton already on the second tier turret. Kha'Zix dying after trying to uh, do anything about this monstrosity at the top lane right now. This is what happens if Renekton completely wrecks lane. It's, it, it's not a nice, like, it's not a nice thing. Because there's nothing you can do. At all. And he's just gonna push that tower. And if no one has an answer to this alligator, he's gonna push that base. He's gonna push even yeah. farther in because there's no reason for him to leave. He's gonna go back, get boots, maybe finish out a Hydra, maybe get some Sunfire Cape burning scale action going on. Like, he could do whatever he wants. Because yeah. uh, he can't be stopped uh, right now. Yeah, uh, and uh, like, they need to do something drastic get the LeBlanc over there and do a triple gank perhaps, maybe then they will be able to do something. Oh, and we see Leona going Leona. in. Onto Godlift here. There's the ultimate but the, from Lulu as well. Lulu now stuck out of position and she's going to be dropping to Slardar. Slater. Slender. However you'd like to call Slender it. Slardar. S30. S73 and 4RR. Picking up the kill. Slender. <laughs> Slardar. Hey, it she's could be. Could be getting your tutor. games messed up. I can't help it. I'm too busy looking at Side Dragon go all over Arrow. Oh. Put him down to a quarter HP, continuing the assault. But there's, he's got to go home. 
He has to go home right now. He just came. He just came back <laughs> from base. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Poor guy. Now we see 12 minutes in. Last time we watched an Ezreal have 150 CS at 15. Looking at 12 here, highest point coming out of that Renekton with 107, and he can continuously free farm as Leona and Olaf now chilling up at that top turret. Oh, there's the explosive gas completely whipping, and Chow Rush needs to be very careful right now as the Ignite coming out from Isaac, but not gonna continue on. Realizes, hey, I don't have a combo up. I can't kill him. That's very true. <gasps> the Renekton is <laughs> moving from his lane. Oh, there we see the stun, but doesn't look all that that terrifying. Well, that's because of her mobility. But oh well, I guess he's just he just paid a visit just to uh, just to remind LeBlanc, hi, I'm in the game and I'm uh, 4-0 right now. I have 116 farm. And don't so, worry, uh, it'll be it'll be fun mark. facing you in the team fight. Bing. Just, just gives that nice crocodile smile. Oh, but there's a solo bar coming out oh. on a lingo. Olaf as well is forced to use his ultimate in top lane. Has got to get out of there. And we see a nice disengage from bottom. Lulu just getting out of dodge. And <laughs> there's there's nothing that either of these lanes can do. Mid lane can't kill each other. Bot lane can't kill each other. Top lane is the only thing where Renekton, uh, well, he doesn't really care. As you see, diving in here underneath the tower, taking some hits and still walking out. Have you noticed how weirdly Olaf walks when he uses Ragnarok? Yeah, he spins his little uh, demon heads. Or so skulls, weird. whatever. That, that skin just confuses me. More ways than one. Oh, and there we see <laughs> Skydragon going right in, now. and he's going to be able to pick up that kill with Ignite. Not really needed on the flash, as that last tick would have been more than enough. But there's four members of Team Solo AJ right now in the bot lane as Gravity Academy's Sky Dragon takes a main turret what's going on someone needs to rotate they gotta get up there like it's it's pretty sad how little help um the olaf has gotten of course kazix trying to do something but kazix can't do something alone leblanc needs to rotate they need to do something they can't ignore oh, there's this the alien all right? going in Oh, the nice flashes, but is it going to be enough as Allura Shade is going to get stunned and ulted from the Pantheon. Pantheon, though, with a stun. Nice dodge from Incer Godlift. He's trying to get the right clicks. The damage in the noodle has slain Allura Shade. And there we go in the bot lane. Pantheon making finally his big debut. So oh, see the but there's oh. the Gragas <laughs> with a nice... Belly bump, barrel roll, ignite, and cool man don't watch explosions. Turns his back, pops the barrel roll, and picks up the kill. Now, as we can see, we got the the Renekton with the finished Hydra and a giant's belt, two Dorn's rings, and a ruby crystal. He is both tanky and does huge amounts of damage right Wait, now. And Dorn's as I was rings saying, or Dorn's blades? Blades. Okay. I said Doran's blades. Stop okay. Stop hearing me uh, wrong. I Jeez. just, I just thought he was trying to keep his hands looking pretty. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, but as I was saying, they can't keep ignoring this Renekton. Like I'm thinking, their thought process is okay. Let's just let him do his thing, and let's try to let the other lanes do as well as possible. But that's that's not gonna work. This Renekton is going to be the end of them if they don't do anything about it. They absolutely have to go up there. They need a three-man. They need a four-man. They need a five-man gank this guy, get the 500 gold, and start team fighting. They cannot yep. stay in lane phase any longer. Otherwise, this Renekton, it, there's going to be a bottom and or a top and hemper gone. Very true. And as oh, we see, Kha'Zix is going there. In. He just needs so care. much damage comes out. This the Sky Dragon takes zero damage. Zero damage from Kha'Zix, and he puts Kha'Zix to a quarter of his life. And there we see Sky oh, Dragon going on, and the explosive yeah, cast is gonna land. Enough damage is gonna take down the kill. Chow Rice adding a tally to his kill My count as we see the ultimate coming out from Lucian onto. There's Pantheon with the ultimate way late. He should have just ran up. There's Inzer Godlift who's trying to 
get somewhere. Using the bush to juke is not going to be enough as Merlin X now picking up a double, looking for more. However, Pantheon with a nice execute off that passive of his, guaranteeing him the critical strike. And they're going to juke it out in the bottom. Instant Noodle using the fact that he has the Lizard Elder's true damage to tick away. And that is a double kill now coming out of Instant Noodle in the bot lane. Now, bot lane's fine at all, but their top inhibitor is almost gone. <laughs> and True. If if they want a, like any way of coming back from this, like look at this. There's Renekton this in top. <gasps> so close, LeBlanc almost taking down the Sky Dragon, but Sky Dragon not afraid. He's got to be careful though. There's the LeBlanc the ignite though, and the counter flash. Greg is coming up. Needs to get the barrel. Does land it off the tip, just the tip. Picks up the kill, as it's now Kha'Zix duking it out with Chow Rice. Nice dodge on the explosive cast, but Vayne showing up needs one more auto attack. Boom, there it is, and Sir God lift. As here we see Olaf coming up, does get kicked back as he does not have Ragnarok, just using the ghost. And now Lucian is gonna get caught out of position, does get turned into a whatever the heck that thing was, as Vayne trying to run away now, and Pantheon showing up to the fray. Leona engaging now, on the Lingo, there's the damage, Allure Shade with the flipping passive proc, boom, goes the dynamite. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, with the flipping passive being uh, proc'd, we see some, uh, some like a lot of action right here. And now we see um, Gravity just trying to rotate as much oh, as possible. Oh, there they we go on to lift and Lucian with the ultimate. They're engaging on the Sky Dragon, though. That is not the target they want to be focusing out here. As tons of cooldowns just used. That was the Leona Solar Flare. We had Lucian ultimate coming out. But a little tip for Lucian players. If you ever watch the Asian scene, note how they use the ultimate. They use it as an auto attack reset because the ult does zero damage. Or if someone's running away and... Uh, they want to snipe the kill because it gives them a farther attack range. Yeah. There's no uh, reason to use it in the middle Lucian's of the game. Lucian's ult is basically useless in uh, most situations unless you're uh, either you can't kite because you'll get caught. So you just want to walk. So if you want to walk back and do some damage in the meanwhile, then sure, that works. But it's just better auto attacking. Uh, oh, it's not and we see LeBlanc going on in. Way. Does get the root down and the double chain stun. But, but what what damage? Did did you miss? It? Did you see anything? I saw what Isaac go in, means? come out half health, and Renekton not. Dude, wow, wow. Yeah, he uh, he he's beyond powerful. Oh. oh, there's the Lulu flash ult, and that's a surrender oh, wow. coming out what? here from Team Solo AJ. Uh. Okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> I that guess there's unexpected. There's no need to go through and and play it out when that's that's gonna that's gonna happen right there. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Well, that wow. is. Uh, um, I'm speechless right now. Teams.